Clark, I'm 30, I'm from Airdrie. Um, my journey really began in 2013. I was probably a social drinker, you would say, um, to start with. Your usual Friday, Saturday, Sunday um, nights in the pub with the boys. In 2013, my mum sadly passed away. Um, and at that point, my, my drinking really escalated um, to the point where it was an everyday occurrence. You know, that was my life. I woke up thought about drink, that's all I'd done. It came to a head in the start of 2000 and, or in fact the middle of 2014, where I ended up in hospital after having a seizure through alcohol. Um, and it was at that point really I thought to myself, is, is this really what I want from life? And knew I had to book up my ideas at that point. I linked in with the uh, Airdrie Integrated Addiction Services. Um, again, just through my time in hospital, they kind of referred me on there. Um, I had a worker in there um, who I, I spoke with weekly to start with. Um, and I remained sober for a good three, four, five months. I've only had the one relapse a few years ago, um, which again, when, when that happened, uh, I kind of turned back to, to the support network I had in place. This programme, this therapeutic football programme in, in the Cumberland Local Scythe area, Bobby, it was born out of a need from the individuals that I work with. They were all looking for some form of sports focused programme, mainly around football. And in gents in the <laughs> west of Scotland all love football. So what we looked at doing was to try to start one in Cumberland. And from here we've now developed this programme which we've been running now for over a year. It's involved in the Scottish Football Association Disability League throughout Scotland. And it does a great job for the men. It gets them out active, they travel all over Scotland, and they've just recently won their first cup which is making them very, very happy. So I'm immensely proud about what we've achieved um, within the programme. It is honestly fantastic, the, the difference that I see in the men that we're working with. There's a growing evidence base around physical activity and the importance that that is for men um, or individuals' recovery. And um, I would suggest if anyone's watching this and, the, and they maybe have some mental health or addiction concerns, I would encourage you to go and speak to your worker if you have one. Um, so I've been sober now for, for over 12 months, which is fantastic. Um, a big part of that has been the programme here up at Clyde. I, I've never looked back, my, my knowledge kind of changed completely. I now coach up at Clyde, which is was great of them. They've put me through my badges with ASFA, um, which is something they've done off their own back, which I, I'm, I'm grateful for. Uh, also, uh, I was down to the last 12 uh, of for the Homeless World Cup to represent Scotland um, over in Oslo in September, um, which again is something I would have never thought I would have done had it not been for, for the programme here at Clyde and the direction they pointed me in to, to go and uh, take part in that. I, I'm now studying um, a nursing course, Swap Access to Nursing. Uh, I've got an interview for UWS to go to university this year. Um, hopefully the, the long term goal is to become a mental health nurse. Um, that, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, so that maybe years down the line when someone's in the position I was in, they've got someone like myself to be there to tell them that, you know, it is, it is possible. To, to turn things around. I'm so grateful as well to the partners that are involved ourselves at um, NHS. We've got the addiction recovery team, we have NL Leisure on board, and Clyde United um, FC Foundation, Community Foundation. There are a range of various other physical activity opportunities available to individuals locally. North Lanarkshire Leisure offer a whole, a whole host of opportunities. More information can be found on North Lanarkshire Leisure's website or by contacting Broadwood Stadium in Cumbernauld.